Hey family, back again. Thank you for allowing me to be able to share with you during this time uh, that we have together during this season. I think as uh, Christians, it's important that we understand and that we also become mindful of who God is and what God is able to do in spite of all of this dread that you're getting and I'm getting on a day-to-day -day basis. It's constant, it's consistent, it's um, ongoing. Um, sometimes we're getting positive reports and most of it is negative reports. And David says, I want to assure you that in the midst of all of this, you have a shepherd that's gonna guide you through this time that will direct you and he knows how to do it. He'll take care of every one of your needs. He'll make sure that you get the nourishment that you need. He'll also make sure that you get the refreshment that you need. For David said last time that he leads me by still waters, by waters that are calm and not rowing rapids. For we cannot take in, digest, ingests truth that way. And one of the ways that this verse applies to the next verse is that because I've got waters that has refreshed me, it restores me for the journey that's before me. He says he restores my soul. That's one way to take the passage, but there's another way that this restoring of the soul also speaks of the tendency of sheep. And that is sheep have the tendency to wander. And when they wander, the shepherd goes to get that sheep that wander. And when he does is that he brings them back to the flock. And that's a form of restoring them back to the place where they left. You and I wander from time to time. You and I get off the path of life and walking with him from time to time. But what he does is that he comes after us. He is what one of my associate pastors used to say, God's a stalker. He, he'll come after those that belong to him. And he puts us back in the place that we left. And he just, he does it, not just because he does it, but it's because of his namesake. It speaks about who he is. He can't have his sheep wandering off into the world and the world knowing that we are his sheep and he leaves us out there. No, my sisters and my brothers, he comes and he gets us and puts us back in the right path the path of righteousness, because that's who he is. He's a righteous shepherd. He's a righteous Lord. He's a righteous God. And his name is on the line. So I say to you, don't wander off. Don't be so frantic, so fearful. Don't get so panicky that you wander from the path that he's trying to lead you. Because when it's all said and done, it's his name that's on the line. Peace. I'm out.